Well, today really felt like fall because when you looked around this afternoon, leaves were blowing <laughs> everywhere. It looked beautiful, Jacob, but now someone, notice I didn't say myself, has to clean them all up. That is true. Someone <laughs> does. You don't have, you have someone that does it for you? I'm not saying. I'm just saying I'm not doing it. All right. Well, there certainly was a leaf blizzard around uh, this afternoon with all the wind. This picture was sent to us by West Branch Aerial Photography out in Chester. This is in Western Mass. Some of the hill towns, you see the beautiful Westfield River, some of the fall foliage. But notice, mixed in with some of the beautiful colors, a lot of trees past peak. And certainly adding to that with the wind that we saw a little bit earlier. Some of these wind gusts anywhere from 50 to 60 miles per hour. Couple that with some rain, anywhere from 1 to 2 plus inches of rain. That was a recipe for some of those trees to topple, the uh, power lines to come on down, and some people to be without power as we head into this evening. We still have one flood warning out for the Sudbury River near Saxonville. Uh, so areas impacted potentially Framingham, Wayland into Sudbury. This goes until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning or at least until the river starts to crest and finally goes down. But as of right now, it is still in a bit of an action stage uh, for that Sudbury River. Now, looking at our storm reports, you can see all these little dots are areas that did pick up some uh, wind damage. So really impressive the sort of winds that we got this afternoon, anywhere from 40 to 60 miles per hour. You see the concentration as you go into Boston and points towards the north and west. That's where we really saw some of the strongest winds this afternoon. Expanding the view, we can see the storm system is out of here. This is what we're expecting for Sunday. A lot of dry air to move on in, a lot of sunshine, and at least half of the day on Monday will be dry too. But by the time we get into Monday evening, there will be a warm front that passes through, brings us another chance for showers, and then an even stronger storm dipping through the, in, the intermountain states right now, that's going to bring us another reinforcing shot of rain as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. So it's an unsettled pattern that we're in, certainly far from ideal. There's our departing storm system, the cool air starting to build on in. We do have dry air in place for at least tomorrow. So if you want to get some of that raking done, tomorrow is definitely the day to do so. A ton of sunshine as you wake up and head out the door and nothing to worry about throughout the entire day on Sunday. It's not until Monday that we start to build some clouds initially and then the rain starts to move in as we go into the midday and certainly into the evening and staying a little bit unsettled as we go Monday night into Tuesday. Tuesday, I'm expecting that to be sort of a washout where we're seeing those widespread showers, even some downpours throughout the day and certainly Tuesday not the best day for that simply because that's also the day that is election day right we have a warm front goes through Tuesday's on the mild side we're back into the 60s on Tuesday and Wednesday but you see some of these widespread showers that are going to be moving through New England and other places that are pretty important to get out the vote too through the Mississippi Ohio River Valleys some swing states in there too something to watch for I'm not a, a political scientist by any means, but I uh, certainly probably playing a role okay. in, into uh, our 2018 elections. Uh, 38 for Boston for an overnight low. We're in the middle 30s as you go into Worcester County, so waking up with a little bit of frost in some spots. Tomorrow, we're back into the low 50s, a lot of sunshine, and then our jet stream pattern sets up that we're actually seeing warmer conditions building on in as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, but by the time we get into Friday, back into the upper 40s. Unsettled pattern. That seven-day forecast, the only two days without rain are going to be tomorrow and Thursday.